Hi guys, it's Ilar here. I'm going to make eight race panels for the same project you've seen me working on in the previous two videos as well. I'm starting off with cutting boards to a little bit longer than the final length of my panels would be. Then I can cut the final length after the glue up. And I have to rip some narrower pieces as well to get the exact width I need for the panels. Then it's time for a glue up. As you can see I'm not using any biscuits to join my boards. The glue is plenty strong enough to hold these boards together in this application. One thing I like to point out is the grain orientation. I'll make sure that I'm turning every board with the growth rings facing the opposite direction. Now I clean up the excess glue and lightly sand the surface. Now I can cut each panel to the final length. Now I mark up the profile I want to create all around the edge of my panels but only for one of them as a reference. At this point I like to make a few notes. If you are a beginner woodworker with a cheap crappy table saw, I would not recommend you to do the following cuts. I have a good quality table saw with a sharp blade and a rock solid fence. The surface of my cuts are almost planar quality and hardly requires any sanding. I think it will be difficult to achieve the same sort of finish on a cheap table saw. So this cut I'm about to make ideally would require a jig holding your workpiece safely. I've got steady hands and I'm confident enough to make this cut. But if you don't know what you're doing and you apply pressure on your workpiece in the wrong place, then you're looking into a nasty surprise. Do this for my own responsibility, but you're better off making a jig to hold your workpiece securely.
then I repeat the cuts for all the eight panels. When I finished with them, I reset the table saw for another cut. One more point I like to make, in my opinion, the riving knife is a must have to execute these cuts safely. But I'm not a health and safety instructor of any kind, and this is not a how-to video. Now that the first cut is finished on all the eight panels, I reset the blade and the fence as well for the second cut. So that's the first piece done. The blade has left a little excess material in the corner, so I have to readjust the fence, but otherwise I'm happy with the result. The lines are very neat and sharp, and the surface, like I said, hardly needs any sanding. And that made a huge mess around the table, so... Now just a quick sanding to clean up the surface. Now here they are all ready to put them in the frames. And this is how they look in the frames. And I thought I'd just show you them in the daylight as well. If you have any thoughts on this video, please let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to reply.